I was so excited to try this primer that I forgot to film my intro, okay? Hey bays, you can see by the title what this video is already about. So let's just get the chit chat and get right into it. Now, before we get started, I do want to do like a small eyeshadow or whatever. I don't know why, but like Olive Green has been calling my name. I don't know, maybe it's because that short Wet n Wild video that I did. Like I love that golden olive green color that I had on. So I'm going to do something similar right now really quickly. So my eyebrows are already done. And I don't think that there's any need for primer or like eyeshadow base for this look. You know, that's only for like extreme, big, bold, colorful and a little bit of this concealer goes a long way anyway. This is the Born This Week concealer. Y'all know I can't live without it. Pat that into place. And just for my upper crease area, I'm just going to go in with my Blends Bunny palette. My go-to for everything. There's a lot of products that I always say that I cannot live without. There's a lot. <laughs> There's a lot. But they're my faves. I should do a video of like all my beauty faves in one. So I'm just going to take the color First Kiss. And I'm going to lay that down first. And remember, like I always say, bring your eyeshadow down very, very low. That way, when you blend it up, it's not blended all the way up to your eyebrow. First kiss comes off as like an orangey. It's more orangey brown than it is in the palette. In the palette, it looks like a nude. But on the skin, is it has orange undertones. And to go right underneath that, I'm going to go in with the color Mama Bear, which is like a chocolatey brown. It also has orange undertones, though, when you put it on the skin. And I'm going to take that and put that right in the crease and blend that upward and then for the lid we're just gonna do a olive green color simple eyeshadow because we really want to get into this primer like I need to see what the hype is about cleansing that out a little bit more and for the green I'm gonna be using this Morphe palette I don't know what Morphe palette is oh 35e I have a bunch of Morphe palettes I recently found one okay while like decluttering and you know getting rid of some makeup I recently found a Morphe palette and I'm just like, I've never used it. There's a bunch of Morphe palettes that I've bought and I've never used. I'm like, this is the year I have to use. I got to use everything because it's just sitting there. So let's see. I don't think I've ever used this palette like that because it's full of shimmer. Oh, perfect. Pigmented. AF. Perfect. This is exactly what I wanted. Put that right to the lid. And look how pigmented it came out. This is a shimmer. Like I said, you don't need an expensive eyeshadow base or eyeshadow primer. I, I wanted to just say base or paint when it comes to like, you know, soft, subtle, kind of more natural look of an eyeshadow. Should I put black like right over there or like a darker chocolate brown? No, we, all right, we're going to leave it. All right, I'm going to do the other eye and then I'm going to get into this primer. Okay, so I did my other eye. Of course, I did my brows off camera. Now we're going to get into this milk primer. This primer, y'all, I don't know what took me so long to buy it, to try it even, because I heard about it for so long. It is like the ultimate grip primer, okay? If y'all remember my last video, if you're one of my returning bays, then you know that I've tried the dupe. And I seen a, I seen an ad where Milk was like, oh, don't try the dupe or whatever. Like, you know, sending a shot at the other makeup company. And I was like, oh, I'm like, all right, it's time for me to try this primer. What is the, like, what is so good about it? Now, what I can't say about the dupe is that it was good. It has hyaluronic acid. It has my skin looking fresh, looking nice. Of course, I left it on a few hours and I'm going to do the same thing with this one. You know, just to see because you can't really say, oh, I tried a primer and like leave it on for, like, and for the video and I'm like, oh, I tried it. No, we, we got to see that primer throughout the day. We want to see how it does on your skin. So I'm going to try this primer. I'm going to come back in a few hours. I'm going to give my review at the end. But yes, I have tried the dupe, the dupe sticky primer. I'm not going to say the name. I'll probably put a picture in it because I, I don't know. But... <laughs> Um, yeah, this isn't sponsored, this isn't an ad, I'm just saying. So, no, scratch that, we're gonna say the name. It's the e.l.f. Sticky Primer, okay? And it was really good, like my skin really did look plump. And for some reason, I don't know, like the whole grip primer or like sticky, I, let's stick with the name grip, honestly, because the whole sticky primer, it doesn't sound very soothing, you know, like hearing something. Cause let me tell you what, what matters to me when it comes to selling a product. Of course, the product, the quality of the product, but also the packaging and the name and like sticky, calling the sticky primer, it, it didn't get my attention. But I tried it and it really does grip my primer. Now, since that was like the cheaper dupe, I'm like, let's try this one because you never know, like the more expensive one, the original just might be better. So we're going to get into this primer. So it says that this primer is an award winning primer, which it is. And it has hyaluronic acid, which we know. And it 
prevent cakey makeup which we need okay because the cake especially in the winter time and that's another reason why I bought this primer I've noticed that I have normal to dry skin I don't know why all my life I thought I had oily skin and I was using all these like mattifying things which I still will use but since it's winter time we want to add more moisture especially to my under eye area like sometimes it can be cakey under there you could probably even tell in some of my videos sometimes we want to add moisture to the skin so that's why I also gave this primer a try I don't know why I'm smelling it because it already says that it's fragrance free it's also silicone free oil free animal cruelty free it's the whole package okay so let's get into it now let's look at consistency it doesn't just from doing this I can really see that it's, it doesn't seem as sticky as the elf one which is probably a good thing <laughs> I don't like the whole sticky concept. Grip, all right, like we can call it the grip primer, but sticky, mmm. So, oh, before I get started, let me moisturize my face a little bit more. And I'm gonna spray my face with some rose water, y'all. Rose water, I don't know what's in this. Like, it's just water. It's water, of course, it has like rose, you know, but mainly what I mean, like the main ingredient is water. But y'all, this has turned my face, like my face has done a 360. Of course, other products are included, but this alone, I spray it before bed, I spray it in the morning, and then just to refresh my face, I'll spray it throughout the day and it has my skin looking plumped, brighter, acne free, all of that. Alright, so let that settle in and then we're going to go right into the primer. I'm just trying to do this because I want to see if it feels as sticky. So it doesn't feel as sticky as the e.l.f. one. And I am going to do a second video in my second, since I tried this primer alone, I'm trying it now. And then I tried the e.l.f. one. I'm going to do a half and half and go about my day and see how they hold up. It's not as sticky, which I love. I noticed uh, some primers though, what is it, that are like silicone free. I noticed that I need more though. I do need more. Like all of that I just took out, it only it's only good for one side of my face. It doesn't say to let it dry, but the way it's just so moisturized, I'm just going to let it dry for a few seconds. I'm going to let that primer dry. I feel like you can already see that my skin is glowing with this primer. So it definitely does add hydration. Always hydrate your face though. Just cause a primer has for hydration y'all doesn't mean that you shouldn't moisturize your face. And I was guilty of that. I'm like, well, the past, like this is a hydrating primer. So I don't need, no, moisturize. Moisturize, tone, add your serums, and then add your primer. Your primer is just there for your makeup. You also need your skincare. So for my returning base, I don't know if you noticed, but my under eyes are a lot lighter than they usually are. So I don't need to go in anymore. So if I wanted to let up, like, you know, lighten up, the yellow under eye corrector that I do I can a little bit but I'm gonna continue to do it because I like a lifted look however I will say that the one I'm looking into is an OG one it's from wet and wild it's not a color corrector but I use it as a color corrector listen wet and wild or your in your early makeup journey you're not telling me that wet and wild wasn't that girl like I don't know if you guys seen my recent video I did a collaboration with them and let me tell you I when I do collabs I mean everything I say all right I'm not just like oh yeah give me the product and pay me and you know we could do like I mean every word I say what and wild is a classic favorite for me so I finally ran out of that Revlon one that I've been using for a while I haven't found it don't know where it is but um that's a good thing because I need it's a new year I needed a new one anyway so I'm gonna get this wet and wild one I love it I've always loved it so much it's smooth it's creamy when I show you guys the product you're gonna be like oh my god like I remember that but for now, we don't, it's not a necessity. Alright, so I'm just gonna take my Born This Way and I'm gonna do a few dots and then I'm gonna blend it out with my sponge. Now that's giving me a tad bit dry. I don't know why. It could be the concealer. I'm not sure, but it is giving a little bit dry, which is weird because this is a hydrating primer. Maybe I'm judging a little too soon. It did blend nicely though. That's what I can say. It's not sticky. Like, you know, get rid of the whole sticky idea out of your mind of like it being sticky. So it's like your sponge and stuff. Although the Elf one was advertising like people taking their products and sticking it to their face i tried it it didn't work but anyway it's just like i don't i don't think that's good advertising like it, why would i want you know i feel like my brush bristles are gonna stick and you know how like your, your hair gets in your lip gloss that's how i felt when i seen it so i'm like i don't really like this advertising for it for foundation i'm going in with my mac nt50 which is a tad bit more like dark red it's more red than me so i just add a little bit of color corrector or if I can't find it I add a little bit of my Born This Way concealer. Speaking of can't find it y'all stay tuned for my quad M episode coming up on Monday. We are going to be talking about declutter and organization and how it betters our lives because y'all know I can never find anything like 
can never find anything on my makeup table so it's important that we stay organized okay but anyway moving on i need to invest in those silver makeup palettes because look this is what i do i mean they come in handy now i'm going to apply my foundation i am going to be blending out with a brush but like i said it's good though because it's not sticky uh, I, just, I know i keep mentioning that like a thousand times but it doesn't give off that sticky vibe like i have to say that it is if it gives off that same grip and hydrating look throughout the day minus that like extra sticky feeling because this this one does feel a lot thinner in a good way though like the other one was a little bit sticky so <clears throat> If this one gives me hydrating and hydrating and plumped and you know all the same benefits without that stickiness, then this one is the this one is the go. I also need to invest in new Instapot face brushes, but for right now, I'm using the light layer complexion brush from Real Techniques, and the number is 220. Not sure if this is a foundation brush, but for me, that's how I use it. So I'm gonna blend that out with that. Now it could also just be the weather. You know, it's really cold out, so if I'm feeling a little dry, it could just be my skin. You know, a lot of the times we blame makeup products like, oh, I didn't like this product. Oh, this product did this to my skin. In or you know I just don't like the way it looks out of yada and a good I would say five times out of ten even six times out of ten it's not the product it's your skin it's you it's the way you're taking care of your skin listen always remember that makeup is an art makeup is an art okay and you have to have a good canvas to do your artwork on so if your canvas is not good it's dry it's flaky it's bumpy it's oily it's just not being taken care of you can't expect the artwork to look good and the canvas is not how it's supposed to be I have zero complaints um what I can say is that with my skin my skin did look it just looked a little bit more fresh with the elf primer so that's why I said we're gonna do a video of a side-by-side -side comparison you know the weather is different my skin is probably different so that could also be the reason why so to be fair I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side with both of these primers to, to know what the real deal is between the both of them so I'm just I'm just gonna take my sponge right you guys and I'm gonna do a, a layer over this because I believe that this light layer complexion brush is for just what it says light layered look and if I'm not mistaken I believe I use a sponge in my elf one so I'm going to do another layer on it because that could be the reason why this whole light layer I'm listen I'm, I'm not into the thin foundation I'm not I need full coverage everything so as I'm blending this out I see that that's exactly what it is it's a it's a foundation brush for a light layer like it says it's really good though it really does spread your foundation out evenly you could probably build coverage with it I've never tried so that definitely added another layer of foundation now let's add our highlight taking my bonus with concealer again and oh my gosh y'all I haven't done my double highlighting method in a while not that I don't need it I just haven't done it in a while I need to re-up on a lot of products and on my last few videos I believe that I totally forgot how I don't know <laughs> I totally forgot. So I like to let my highlighter sit on my face a little bit. What that does is that it's gonna give you that real full coverage look. So like when it's kind of drying, then it's like, it is a little bit harder to blend, but if you know what you're doing, like you're gonna get it exact. But yeah, letting your concealer sit there for a little bit is gonna give you more of a full coverage look. All right, taking my blending sponge again and blending that out. And I did see some flakes in, <laughs> and I hope that's from my brushes or something on my sponge and not like, you know, you guys know like certain products you put on your skin, it'll start getting those like I don't know like you ever had a lotion and it does that flaky stuff I hope that that is not what this primer is doing I doubt it come on milk you gotta pull through like I've heard so many positive this has five stars this this has five stars and I don't know if you can see it. it's right there I'm gonna put a mark in my what is that is that from the foundation uh, I think it was just like a ball for the foundation not sure anyways now I'm blending this out and as I'm blending my highlighter out I can honestly say that my skin definitely does look plump and that's one of the main reasons why I try these hyaluronic acid grip primers is because it has a skin plumping effect and I'm looking at my under eye area and I can say that my skin definitely does look more plumped while you in this 
and it's blended the hydration of it it makes it easier to blend especially if somebody with dry skin the thing with dry skin is like when trying to blend everything you can see where everything ends and we don't want that hydrating you see everything blends nicely together because everything is just moisturized I was gonna do a little bit of cream contour just to see how it blends should we do cream contour or should we just stick to our bronze and powder hmm we'll do a little bit we'll do a little bit since we're testing out a primer we want to see how it looks for everything so we'll do a little bit of cream contour I'm just gonna take a dark concealer this is actually a dark spot corrector um i had told them the company that this is my color this is from it it's a bye bye dark spot concealer and serum but it's dark i thought it was my color like through the screen so i do use it to contour so i'm just gonna dot a little bit you guys know my cheekbones are very high so that's why i also just tend to use bronzer i don't really use cream contour because i already have very high cheekbones and down my nose I'm just gonna use a little bit just to see how this blends out Let's see like i said the moisturizer it helps everything you know it blends nicely it looks very it gives you that bronze sun kiss kind of look now that's it for like creams and stuff now we're gonna see how this holds up with powder so i'm gonna take my laura mercier oh if you guys haven't been on my instagram first of all if you don't got me on instagram you need to go follow me right now at j.pierre but if you have been on my instagram you see my story laura mercier has featured me in their shop on instagram thank you so much laura mercier i love the trendles and powder i cannot live without it so my I'm returning base though that I do a double highlighting method. So before we take the Laura Mercier powder, I am going to take the Huda Beauty Kunafa powder. I believe it's pronounced Kunafa. And this is a yellow powder and I like to press yellow down first and then just add white clear translucent on top of it. I also use the Laura Mercier yellow translucent powder in the color. Laura Mercier also has a translucent powder in the, with the yellowish undertone though. I use all three. I use the translucent one, I use the yellow one, and I use the brown one as like a full setting powder. Now I do let that powder sit down my nose for a minute so we're gonna see this should make it look absolutely better and not as dry because it has a hydrating effect well here is the translucent Laura Mercier powder and I apply that just like directly under my eyes so for the yellow I use it in this whole area here and for the clear white whatever you want to call it I put it right underneath my eye and then like I said just to bronze up my face I'm gonna take the Fenty bronzer and pop that right over where I put that dark concealer and then just to throw everything together I'm gonna take a little bit of setting powder that's when I dust off my nose set everything together get off any like extra highlighting powder under my eye so my face is done and i'm going to set with my mac fix plus stay over spray this one you really gotta press down on because i don't want those huge water droplets coming out that and then we're gonna do our lips our wing liner of course lashes and then come back with our final review on this primer Okay, babe, so I am back and I had my primer on for a couple hours and I must say that it has held up now only because it's winter i'm not sure i want to see this on my skin when it gets a little warmer my skin does it doesn't look as moisturized as it did with the elf one but like i said it could just be because of the weather um i'm gonna and i'm gonna give it another try i'm gonna explore it i like it i'm not saying that i don't like it it definitely doesn't give me like too dewy to the point where your face looks greasy and oily because that's why i tend to stay away from hydrating primers because of that issue so it doesn't give that it definitely keeps my makeup in place i haven't like you know like any makeup like i haven't had to do any blotching and i even have to do blotching sometimes with mattifying primer so didn't do any blotching with that for now i'm gonna give this four stars out of five like i said i will be trying this again i'm gonna be trying it i'm gonna be trying it with my skin exfoliated i'm gonna be trying it on half of my face with the elf primer and then i'm gonna wait till it's warmer but i'm gonna be using this in my future tutorials <laughs> Like, my up and coming tutorial, this is going to be my primer. So, I'll be using it more and more. And I will definitely be talking about it in those videos. Definitely if I see any changes. Because, like I said, it could just be my skin. But, as of right now, what I'm seeing, the e.l.f. one was a tad bit more hydrating. My skin does indeed look flawless. It does look, what I can say is that I can tell that this is a very hydrating primer because of how blended my makeup looks like when it's too matte it's like harder to blend the foundation so because of how hydrating this primer is it looks good and if I y'all keep seeing me looking down because I'm looking like in the mirror at the same time it looks very good like my contour and everything my bronzer is blended and my nose one thing I know is that when my skin is very dry the contour on my nose you can see it a lot and this is very blended so I know this is moisturizing I do in fact think that it's just the weather it's just my skin I feel like this is an a one primer okay y'all so i had to 
future me here I had to chime in it's actually a tad bit later y'all um, and I must say it does give that moisturizing effect I came to the conclusion that it really is the weather okay like I can see from like looking at my face like leaving on even more and you know both your natural oils start to come out the longer you have it on so I can see that it is a very hydrating primer and it just is the weather and how everything is with my skin but I can tell that this is a good primer all right so five out of five so that is it for this video you guys like I always say don't forget to like comment and subscribe and also hit the notification bell so that you can get notified every single time that I upload also make sure you guys go ahead and follow me on Instagram at j.pierre and on TikTok at j.pierre underscore if for some reason you don't have TikTok or Instagram I'm going to leave a list right here on the screen of every single social media platform that I have make sure you guys go ahead and follow me on each one that you have and I will check you guys in my next video okay I love you base bye